Uh, Alyssa has a conductive hearing loss. She was born with uh, pretty much no external ear on the right hand side. She just has a little part of a little flap of skin and that's it. She has no middle ear canal or outer ear, but the inside, uh, uh, the inner ear is, is, is it's okay. So we explored the possibility of uh, opening the ear canal and create an ear for her. In my heart of hearts, I was thinking, hey, let's just leave it all alone. I don't want to go through the surgeries. I'm real nervous about. She can hear on one side. She can get by. It's fine. Then they uh, talked to us about the Baja and, and how simple the installation of the Baja would be and uh, how little risk poses to the damage of the facial nerve uh, and, and the possibility of uh, having near normal or normal uh, hearing. They had a sample Baja device that was on like a headband and they tried it on Alyssa just to, so that she could hear for the first time what everybody else heard like. Uh, she put it on just completely her face just lit up and just look around and, and then she was just couldn't believe that possibly uh, she could be hearing. I almost started crying right there because I realized that for her this was a whole new world. When I had the demo on, um, I didn't want to take it off. I wanted to keep it and I wanted to take it home. I realized that I definitely wanted her to be able to hear just like everybody else regardless of surgeries or anything else. I was a little bit nervous about surgeries. Any mom's going to be a little bit nervous about their child, you know, having any kind of surgical procedure. You can't just say, oh, we're going to do uh, surgery just because. But quite honestly, compared to some of the other surgical things that had been discussed in the past, this was not that major. And so we talked to Alyssa about the surgery, about what the surgery would be like. The thought of surgery didn't really phase her very much and they did such an awesome job there of making her comfortable and completely aware of what was going on. She was fine with it. She really surprised us. When she came out of recovery the first time, it was kind of, when I walked in, I was kind of taken aback because here she is laying on this bed and she's got this, you know, white stuff, white gauze wrapped all the way around her head and you're like, ah. Because you see your kid with the, with the big, uh, uh, you know, thing on the side of the head, bandage, and so you're like, oh my gosh, what are we doing to our kids? Uh, but then you, you go back and you say, no, this is going to be okay, it's going to pass. It wasn't that big, it didn't last that long. She was in the hospital a total of 12 hours, and then we were home, and that was it, both times. I would say, don't be afraid of the surgery, because after that you get the Baja. When she got the Baja, you could instantly tell that she knew she was much more aware of the surroundings, of me, of the students in the class, and she also just seemed so much more confident of what was going on. I can be like at the farthest corner of the room and still hear what she's saying. I can even have a wall in between, a, in between my teacher and me, and, Alec, and I can still hear what she's saying. She was so excited to tell all the kids about it. And look what they were able to do for me. Look what I've got now. And they were just very intrigued by it. I mean, they thought that was just the coolest thing. She can sit anywhere in the uh, room and still be able to hear like a normal person. She's certainly happier in terms of what she feels, how she feels about her being able to hear. Uh, so she has uh, repeatedly uh, told us uh, that, that she would not like it without the Baja, uh, that she feels better with it. It amazed me how quickly she was able to adjust to putting it on, taking it off, adjusting the volume. And she started to take ownership of the actual uh, Baja. I don't even have to remind her anymore. At night after she brushes her teeth, she takes off her Baja and she puts it to bed. She's a girl and of course she likes to have her, her hair over it. Alyssa's main concern was that other kids would see it. They don't know it's there unless she tells them it's there. But she sometimes also wears uh, her ponytail, so it's really not uh, any inconvenience. It's not anything that gets in the way. Really, I would say Alyssa's definitely very comfortable with her Baja, definitely. 
she goes to the neighbors' houses. Uh, they play at school on the in the playground. Uh, she goes uh, skating. She goes. Uh, she's on a soccer team. She goes dancing. It's just generally more a, a quality uh, of life issue. She can hear like we all can now.